Paris Olympics for Team USA, the Clippers forward will be replaced by Boston Celtics guard Derek White. And in a statement released on Wednesday, USA Basketball implied that Leonard's decision it was influenced by the Clippers and Team USA officials after observing training camp in Las Vegas over the past three days. So the statement read in part, quote, Kawhi has been ramping up for the Olympics over the last several weeks and had a few strong practices in Las Vegas. He felt ready to compete. However, he respects that USA Basketball and the Clippers determined it's in his best interest to spend the remainder of the summer preparing for the upcoming season, meaning the NBA season, rather than participating in the Olympic Games in Paris. So with that, Tim Bontemps is joining us from Las Vegas, where he's been embedded with the Olympic squad as they prepare for Vegas here, for Paris rather. Tim, Kawhi said recently he'd been rehabbing his knee over the past two months, and he wasn't sure whether or not he'd be able to play up until about two weeks ago when his tune changed and now it's changed again so, so what happened here a joint decision made by the Clippers and Team USA and even Kawhi Leonard potentially himself with his situation with that knee coming off that playoff series against the Dallas Mavericks where as you remember he was out there in games two and three of that series and looked bad enough at that point that the Clippers had to sit him down for the remainder of that first round series against the Dallas Mavericks because they did not like the way Kawhi looked in that game three when he didn't look like himself, frankly, at all. And over the past few days here in camp, obviously, Teron Liu, Clippers head coach, is one of Steve Kerr's assistants with Team USA. Lawrence Frank, the president of basketball operations, and Mark Hughes, another senior member of the Clippers front office, was on hand here in Los Angeles to watch Kawhi closely with Team USA. And he showed up with a big sleeve on that right leg. Mm. He had a bit of a limp when he walked in. And as you said, it was only a couple of weeks ago when Kawhi felt like he was going to be in a good enough shape to participate in these Paris Olympics. And that's why a month ago, our agent Morjanowski reported that Derek White was going to be the replacement for Kawhi Leonard if he was not able to go. So it's not exactly a shock that we've gotten to this point where, as Team USA is about to depart for Abu Dhabi on Thursday, that this is the moment when if you're going to make a decision like this, this is the time you would make it. And clearly... After Kawhi Leonard gave it his best to try to be ready to play right. in the Paris Olympics, everybody got together and decided the right thing to do was to have him stay home, get ready for the Clippers going into their new season in their new arena, the Intuit Dome, this fall, and have Derek White replace him on this Team USA roster. Not a bio can be the natural four that he is. You don't have that. You're asking a lot of him. I'm glad he got his extension. Yeah. He deserved every penny. I wish him nothing but the best. But... You need a bigger body to throw out there with him so you're not asking so much from him. Mm -hmm. And I think that's important. I'm done with the Clippers. I'm done with them. I'm done with them, okay? I don't give a shit nobody say. Kawhi Leonard is, I've said this many times on national television, I'm gonna say it on your podcast. He's the worst superstar anybody could ever have. He's the worst. He is a superstar player who misses 60% of his playoff games. But this year? I said playoffs. He played 68% during the regular yeah, season. But, he didn't play in the playoffs. But this year, he was really hurt this year in the playoffs. No, no, he's really hurt every year. I'm this, not questioning his injury. During I'm the not, season, I'm, sometimes I'm not, during I'm, the season. I'm not he, questioning the legitimacy. Let me tell you something. I would never disrespect y'all by saying that somebody's injury is fake. He's a professional athlete. He's the greatest professional athletes in the world. That you got the only injury... I've ever questioned is that Dan Benson. Your key word is playoffs. So that, you, that I Dan Benson. Your key word is playoffs. I mean, so. That Dan Benson. Don't get me started on that Dan Benson. <laughs> I mean, this brother. I, I mean, you know, I, I'm not. I'm just not going to even go there. He's lucky. He's not you in prison out for down that. Here. You down here, that. Miami? You come, I can show you where he work out. He be working out down. Really? Here. Yeah, I'm work. sure he did work that out <laughs> down here. I'm sure <laughs> of all the places he could really get focused and zero in on his basketball prowess. He gonna pick Miami. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure he is down here, his Zoolander ass up. I mean, don't get me started. <laughs> the, the, this brother right here, I mean, come on, man. The, the, the skill set that he man. had, I know he couldn't oh, shoot, but everything, everything else, else he has, he don't wanna play. He don't love the game. He don't love the game. I'm not saying he wasn't injured, but I'm talking about an absence of love for the game. Remember, he was missing games before he was yes. injured. They yes. pointed to mental health. We can't dismiss yes. the importance of mental health. The reason why I'm critical of it is because that never prevented you from making sure that check was in your account every two weeks. He never missed it. No. He never missed it. He never missed it. He always made sure that cash was there, but he won to play. Yeah, yeah. So don't get me started with him. But here's what, back to Kawhi Leonard. You know where I got really, really salty about Kawhi Leonard? 
It's not because of his injury, per se. It's not even because he missed all, all of them damn playoff games. In part, it's because he does nothing to promote his team or the sport. Marketing is important. He does nothing mm. in that regard. Even his own commercial for New Balance, the little kids are talking, but not him. Think about that. Mm. It's the truth. Go back and look at it. Wow. The kids are talking in the commercial, wow. but the person they're paying for it won't say anything. Wow. Now, come on, man. Now, come on now. Now, don't tell me you can't speak. I understand you I don't want to advertise that. But you can talk. You can say a sentence, something. Mm. I mean, damn, okay? So we got that problem. Here's the other problem. I don't think I've ever been more pissed off at a dude wearing Team USA uniform. Remember how excited he was when they came to him and Grand Hill and them put him on Team USA? Do you know how many games you've missed to be talking about playing in the summer? You might get hurt from the flight to Paris. I'm not letting you play. If I'm Steve Ballmer, if I'm Steve Ballmer, I will use, I'm a billionaire. I will use every means at my disposal to make sure this man ain't on Team USA. Because for one reason and one reason only, I don't trust that you're going to leave healthy. I promise you, you tell me right now, if I said to you, if I said UD, Eminem, you got to bet me your check that this man going to play this summer and he going to be healthy for the season. None of y'all are taking that bet. You know I'm telling the truth. You know I'm <laughs> telling the truth. You make, You're not you make taking that bet. You make You're not argument. doing you it. And so yeah. if you know that, it's like I understand Team USA. I understand the nostalgia, the patriotism, the international competition. But damn, bro, you keep signing these extensions. And you're never around when it really, really counts. If Kawhi Leonard is healthy, I can make a legitimate argument the Clippers would have won a championship by now. Oh. They were looking the Clippers good. Were you make a great argument. You make a great with, argument. December and January, they, they was the best team in the league. The December Clippers, and January. led by Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard is so great. Kawhi Leonard could have led the Clippers to a championship if he were healthy. How are you cool with volunteering your services for something that does not pay you when you are repeatedly unavailable for the people who do pay you? Now, I understand patriotism and all that other stuff. Damn it, red, white, blue, America first. I'm, I'm down for I want us to win. I want us to win gold. I'm rooting for us in Paris. I ain't rooting against us. I want you to beat Slovenia. I want you to beat Spain. Yeah. I damn sure want you to beat Wimbayana and Rudy Gobert for France. I want you to win. But damn, I mean, come on. You got to be a